Yaskawa. <laughs> My name is Kevin Hull. We're going to walk you through the installation of these toolboxes. That has been a little tricky for some. And uh, also we're going to talk about the documentation we've created for the function blocks. So I'm going to right now go to this quick link to youscout.com slash IECTB, which is a, a quick link directly to the toolbox main page. And this page contains all the information for all the toolboxes for the MotionWorks IEC product line. So as you can see, there's a link to download the manuals, latest manuals. And also for each of the toolboxes we've, we've published, you can download either the Express or Pro version if they're available. And since today we're talking about the PLC Open Toolbox, I'm going to download this current version right here to my uh, PC. I'm just going to put this in my toolbox folder. Now there is a, uh, a caveat here. This, this text instruction that was coming with this uh, PLC Open Toolbox explains that you will also need the Math Toolbox in this case. And this is kind of a, um, at, at this point, a legacy uh, issue that we, we uh, decided to create this Math Toolbox to allow us to have full compatibility uh, no matter what the hardware line was. So whether it was MP2300 or MP2600, the same toolbox functions would work identically in both, both uh, controllers. So we're going to also need the math toolbox when using the PLC Open Toolbox. And I'll just go back to the main page and download that as well. Okay, over in MotionWorks IEC, I will then open that download. And extract it. I know I'm going a little quickly here, but I think most of you are familiar with this part of the MotionWorks IEC package. And, uh, you know, as well, you can see that the uh, PLC Open Toolbox contained the, the Math Toolbox inside of it. So I'm going to say yes. Okay, I should be ready to go. I should be able to use this toolbox now. So I'm going to do File, New Project, and make an MP2300 SIEC project. And the first thing I want to do is insert a user library. And I'll go find my new library from the toolbox directory. And the first thing I would uh, demonstrate then is to add one of the function blocks from that library. And one of the most popular ones is access control. And you're going to see that we're going to have some typical problems come up. So if I just if I just try to compile this, I get a lot of errors. And that would be expected based on the sequence of operations I just did. Um, there's a lot of duplicate names basically of uh, data types. And, there, and that is because the toolbox itself contains a copy of two of these data type files that are also available in a new project template. Um, the toolbox needs those data types because it contains many of the PLC Open function blocks, and so it kind of, kind of uh, serves as a basis for the PLC Open firmware library itself. Um, so anytime you're using the PLC Open toolbox, one of the first things you have to do is delete <coughs> the uh, motion block types from your main project and also the PLC task info types because we already have a copy of these definitions. And if I hit compile once more, we're down to simply one error, which I do expect because I haven't, oops, because I haven't included the math toolbox, as I was mentioning earlier. So I'm going to go back and add that one as well. The reason we need this uh, math toolbox is because many of these functions are 
inside of them referring to functions from the math toolbox. So it's kind of a hierarchy uh, scheme that the toolboxes use. So another little uh, trick to remember here is um, I did extract it as part of the extraction of the PLC open toolbox. And by default, OceanWorks IEC extracts libraries to its default libraries location. In my case, it's down here under the uh, all users shared documents, OceanWorks IEC 2 Pro, the libraries folder. And that was Math Toolbox version 201. So I'll just pick that one. And try to compile again. I do expect one more error, though, because I have not hooked up the, uh, the access wrap to this function block. Right, so we have uh, eliminated, eliminated all the errors due to duplicate data types. Uh, we eliminated the error due to not having the math toolbox, which these function blocks rely on. And uh, if I were to define the uh, access ref variable for this function block, uh, we would have zero compile errors and be ready to go. So that was kind of a, a quick explanation of getting the toolboxes down from the website and uh, able to use within your project. And um, just want to uh, say again that we're working to make this process a little bit easier. By the end of the year, we're going to have a toolbox installer that will download the extracted versions of all the toolboxes uh, to save several of those steps. All right, at this point, I'm going to move on to talk about the first function block within the PLC Open Toolbox. It will be the access control function block. I think it's the most uh, popular function because it serves to enable the servo. Uh, it detects alarms, and it can also clear alarms. So it's, it's basically... Uh, just taking three of the PLC open function blocks, MC power, MC read access error, and MC reset combined into one. So at the very least, it's saving some code space in your project and also some, some debugging of an additional ladder to kind of incorporate all those features. And, um, and there you have it. Uh, one, one function block can handle those, those three things. And so I'm kind of demonstrating some of the other surrounding interlock logic that's useful for enabling the servo. So I've got some one shots here that will enable or disable when I uh, change the enable request. And then my uh, logic will keep the access enabled as long as um, the power is on. This is a global status bit. And as long as the hardware base block is not on, that's the safety uh, circuit, the CN8 on the SGDV. And a couple other things I'll talk about with other function blocks I'm describing later on. But as you can see, uh, I have a two-axis demo kit system, and my, my axis one has a warning currently. And it, the warning, uh, this is part of the feature of the axis control function block, is we break out the, the difference between whether it's a controller side alarm or a drive side alarm. Um, and so it becomes clear if you look at these output values in hex, which is the same display uh, format on the front of the amplifier, that right now I have uh, an A91 warning, which is displayed right here under the drive warning ID. And this was caused by uh, actually clamping the, the motor so it could not rotate just a moment ago. I can clear that warning by doing the alarm clear input. And now that's cleared out. You can also see the status. This is a direct copy of the uh, status output from MC Power. And uh, that's basically what the access control function block does. It's a three in one block, basically, that allows you to enable and clear alarms in one system with Y reset Mechatrolink. So we have, we have uh, plans to add another function block called Y reboot controller, which would be a more appropriate name for a function describing the behavior that one would have on the MP2600. And that would basically allow you to accomplish a very similar 
sequence as we just showed here to clear the amplifier alarms that need power cycle. Um, you know, with the additional caveat that the controller itself is also resetting. So there would be some slight difference in performance or in, in behavior there.